All right, folks, welcome back here to the biggest little wrestling DVD in Reno. I want to thank you all for taking this and taking it home, of course, to check out the biggest and brightest stars of professional wrestling up and coming here in the NorCal and Northern Nevada scene. I'm Jay Biggs alongside me, Brian Miller from the Brian Miller Show. Of course, you can check that out on the World Wide Web. Also, Mr. Bruce Fisher, what an honor to have you here with me. Finally, me and you get a chance to do a match together. Well, I was going to say the same thing, Biggs. It's, it's an honor for me to be here commentating the match with you. Definitely much better company than John Billington. That is true, and I can understand you a, a hell of a lot better. All right, here we go. Hard Corey Dayton coming back off a bad injury. Well, many, many people thought it was a career-ending injury. Hard Corey Dayton true. has had now three surgeries on the same shoulder. His arm, I mean, I spoke to him, his arm was actually paralyzed for several weeks. That's right, he couldn't have, he didn't have any feeling in his right hand, from what I understand, and this is his right shoulder. But right now, he's going to have some competition, he's going to have to buck up and face the facts that he is back, and he has got the best coming out right now to face him. As far as small guys go here in the Northern Nevada, Northern California scene, this is one of the best. He is the Mexican werewolf, El Chupacabra. Well, pound for pound, probably the greatest wrestler in the world. The That's undefeated true. Mexican werewolf, El Chupacabra. Definitely a fan favorite here in Reno and everywhere he goes, Biggs. What do you have to say about him, Brian? What's he, your thoughts? He kind of freaks me out a little bit. I mean, I know he's good. I know what he's capable of. I just, uh, I don't want to be around him. You know, I see him, I kind of go the other way. He kind of freaks me out a little bit. Look, he looks like he's energetic and charged up, like maybe he just had a fresh dose of goat in the back. Uh, very funny there, Biggs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good one well. there, bud. Hey, it was funny. I even had to laugh myself. All right. Here we go. Mexican Werewolf in the ring. Hard Corey Dayton, as we mentioned, months and months off. Almost a full year, in fact. Corey Dayton looks in fantastic shape. Definitely training hard to return to the ring. He's months. really got something to prove here. I mean, he, not just to himself, but to everybody else and uh, to me personally because he's been out a long time, and I, and I, I just don't know if he's still got it. We're, we're going to see, though. Well... well You've seen him before with Big and Tasty, of course. He was tag team with Malachi. Absolutely. And, uh, and they separated uh, a couple months after, actually, they ended the feud with the Reno Scum, and uh, which you can see on the first episode of the Biggest Little Wrestling Show at, of course, RenoWrestleFactory.com. And this is no pushover match here. This is... Though the best competition RWF has to offer, El Chupacabra is undefeated. I'll mention it again. It's one of my favorite things to say. That's okay, because an undefeated streak is quite impressive, especially in this area. Definitely now, look the competition at this. here at RWF. A little collegiate wrestling here going on between uh, Hard Corey Dayton and the Mexican werewolf El Chupacabra. Uh, some mat techniques going on right now. Here is Corey Dayton. Oh, front face lock going on right now. Reverses that back. Look at him. Oh, just taunting the Chupacabra with those slaps. And I like that, but it, it might be foolish, you know? Chupacabra might be one of the faster wrestlers in wrestling, but uh, I don't know on the ground game. I think Hardcore has got him beat, definitely. Well, we'll find out exactly how this goes here in just moments, considering the fact that right now in action is two of the best stars that we have to offer at the Reno Wrestle Factory. All of our other stars as well, you can check out on our Superstars page at nice RenoWrestleFactory.com. Yes, a very nice takedown by Hardcore Dayton, who's kept it very collegiate at this point uh, for this match. But he's just wearing them down. That's all this is, is a wear down tactic. And uh, we'll see if that pans out for Hardcore Dayton here in the coming minutes. Nice, nice pin cover there. Pin cover, great. I think right. he's trying to get in his head a little bit, you know, play some mind games with him, you know, let him know that uh, he's back, that he's ready to go. And uh, Good point, Brian. Very good point. Definitely taking control of the match here. He doesn't want Chupacabra flying off the ropes. How do you stop that? You take the man to the mat. Oh, and boy, he got a little arrogant there. Yeah, he did, but he went right down to the mat. That's uh, the Chupacabra, so... Find out here in just a moment if, if he's going to try to capitalize on this or if he's just going to walk I'm around and sure taunt the fans. What, I'm not sure what the strategy here by Hardcore is. Oh, he's going to take a seat. What in the world is this about? This is mind games right here. I'll tell you right now that master of mind games is the Mexican werewolf El Chupacabra. The only so, thing I can think going through the mind of Cordain right now, he's trying to make Chupacabra come to him. And that's exactly what he did. Take Look at that. To him. Did you see that slobber knocker? Oh, watch out, Bruce. Here he comes, coming around to the back side of the ring, grabs Chupi. Oh, oh, nice oh. counter there by Chupacabra. Uh, a 7-7-5. Seven, seven, now he's on the outside. Man. Yeah, got to get him inside the ring, though. That's where you can win the match, Bruce. And here I said earlier, Chupacabra going off the top rope here. 
Might not pay off. Maybe oh, didn't. Yes. Many men do that better than him. Hurricanrana from the nice Luchador. Kick, taking Corey Dayton off his feet here. A big Spin brown house spinning heel kick. Chupacabra in control now. Whipping Corey Dayton off the ropes. Reversal. House of Fire is Chupacabra. By Chupacabra. Oh, a spinning head scissors countered into a Russian leg sweep. Oh, watch out now. Hard Corey Dayton might be down for the count. Look at this. Oh, he Beautiful caught the double knees to the back. Dayton. Brilliant. Very he good counter. Brian, brilliant. Man, I'll tell you right now, Hardcore Dayton's impressing me. He hasn't lost a step since being out. No, if anything, he looks maybe in better condition. You're right. Look at that, posing. Just, he just, he would think oh, he's... look at this. Yeah. Style. The guy's got style. I like it. Lots of good and plenty things he has, I guess, to show off to the fans. All right. Hardcore Dayton here, still in control over the Mexican Werewolf El Chupacabra. Corey Dayton at 205 pounds. Mexican Werewolf at 185. Pretty evenly matched up, just a 20 pound difference there. Nice leg drop by Corey Dayton. Quick pinfall. Oh, Chupacabra, and that's too early. Than, uh, I thought that would be. Yeah, that's not going to end that streak. That's not going to end the streak at all. As you mentioned, all of these wrestlers come from the Reno Wrestle Factory right here in Reno. If you yourself would like to be trained to become a professional wrestler, uh, a valet, manager, whatever you would like to do, make sure you join us at RenoWrestleFactory.com and get all that info. And come on down to the school and check us out in your Longley Lane. That's right, Biggs. If you want to be the best, you got to train with the best. And the RWF is the best. No question about it. All right, Mexican Werewolf El Chupacabra in a bad predicament the right fans now. fans are rallying up here behind Chupacabra. They sure are. And he can hear it, as you see. Uh -oh. The fans have got the, the adrenaline running through the veins of Chupacabra. Two big elbows. Oh, and just cut off by Our, Corey Dayton. Corey Dayton is, is really showing his ring presence right here, Bruce. Really showing that ring presence. Look at him taunting the fans again, showing a lot of arrogance. An arrogance that you wouldn't suspect that you would see uh, out of somebody that's coming back after almost a year out of action. Well, not the first match, but when you're as talented as Corey Dayton, I guess you can be that arrogant. Right, Brian? Absolutely. You know, you, you wonder if there's going to be ring rust in a guy like Corey Dayton being out so long, but I don't see it. What's he going for here? A pile driver? No. Oh, oh nice back body by drop. Chupacabra. See where this goes. Both it to go either way at this point, guys. I don't take anything away from Chupacabra. He's he's talented. He's, he's got that undefeated streak. But uh, Corey Dayton, I don't know. It seems like uh, it seems like things are going his way right now. Looks like he was going for a weaver lock there on the ropes. Well, it looks like right now Chupacabra is is rocking and reeling, and unable to figure out where he's at as far as his ring presence. That's been taken away. His mental stability thus far. He's been beat down. I don't in know. a rather I harsh think manner. Could have met his match. It's Corey very Dayton possible. I, is just as oh. fast as Chupacabra. I think he's got the power advantage. Big chops in the corner to the Chupacabra from Hard Corey Dayton. Whips, Whips him out. Here. Oh, and Chupacabra tries to. Oh, oh Corey right Dayton. to the kidney. Scouted he that must, out perfectly. He definitely scouted that there, Brian. Couldn't have said it better myself. And look at him now here in the corner, still taking advantage of. The loss of the Chupacabra thus far here. I mean, this is it. This this is the most I've seen someone actually take it to the Chupacabra, and, and the closest I've seen to someone possibly breaking that streak, that winning streak he has here in RWF thus far. But you count, you cannot count Chupacabra. Oh, that's right. One, right one, one, two, two kick almost. out by Corey Dayton. I've seen Chupacabra get beaten down many of times and come back. And just uh -oh. like now, oh, one, rolls him up. One, two, two. Oh. kick out by Corey Dayton. Victory roll there from Chupacabra. And now Back going and for forth. a German suplex, looks like, but Hardcore Dayton's cutting that off where it started. Oh, and oh, nice German, German of his own. Can you believe that? Well, I can with that amateur background Corey Dayton has. One, two, almost oh. another three count, fans. Chupacabra's in trouble at this point, Bruce. Brian, I mean, if, look at him here on the outside. Fans doing their best to try to rally up behind him, but. Man, I'll tell you, this is like watching the Chiefs versus, Chiefs versus the Bills. This is terrible. All right, Chupacabra really needs to get up here and do something. He's got a four count from referee Monkey, one of our senior officials here. Been with us for years and years in the RWF. I'm guessing you're a Chiefs fan there, Biggs. I'm from Kansas City, so that makes sense. But uh, this season, the 2011 season, I can't really claim my uh, 
team that well because Suck of, for luck, right? Well, Andrew Luck, number one draft. It could be worse. It could be worse, Bruce. Are, are I could be a Raiders fan. Are we here to talk about wrestling or are we here to talk about football? Right. Big one. Sorry, fans. Brian's right here. Very unprofessional. I mean, this is professional wrestling and this is an amazing match going on right here. Chupacabra with a sunset flip. Uh -oh. One, two. Oh, oh, another close finish here, fans. Oh, Corey Dayton takes Chupacabra off of his feet. It's a back and forth contest thus far here at the Evelyn Mount Community Center. Hopefully you come down and check out one of our big, gigantic shows that we have. Make sure you stay tuned to the World Wide Web, RenoWrestleFactory.com. Cannot say that enough. Also, hey, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Well, I heard in uh, Corey Dayton's downtime training, you know, he was trying to pick up some extra fights. But uh, challengers back down, if you will. Also, uh, from what I've heard, uh, Hard Corey Dayton has found uh, he has found uh, the Lord, and uh, well, he's not showing much of it here. But I have heard that rumor. Well, he did claim it at the beginning of the match, but I guess we'll find out now what's going on here. If he can, well, we don't really want to reference that as uh, being something to rally behind him, considering the evil that he's been doing here in the RWF since being back. And right now, he's close to cutting off the winning streak of El Chupacabra right here in front of all of his fans. A series of forearms here. Corey Dayton setting him up for. Perhaps a superplex blocked by Chupacabra. Look at, oh! Double knees right there to the face, and Hardcore Dayton is down right there in the middle hey, of the ring. He on. could be out, fans. Listen to the fans rally up behind Chupacabra right Definitely now. Chupacabra, here's his chance. It seems like every time the man's he just has no quit in him, Biggs. No quit for the old Mexican werewolf, El Chupacabra. That's right. That's why he's made his way all over the western United States and has become the number one luchador. We have him in action right here at every Reno Wrestle Factory show. I want to thank you, of course, for picking up this DVD from one of us here at the Reno Wrestle Factory and checking it out because this is your key nice. to finding the best in pro wrestling in northern Nevada. Right and left here between those two competitors and Chupacabra goes down and he, go down, he, he goes down hard. In fact, um, I do believe he's hurt his ear after that. Another chop. Oh, oh double chop. You can see the pain on Corey Dayton's face. Those must be cutting right through the skin. Whips Corey Dayton to the corner. Chupacabra comes in. Oh, oh. double knee to the chest. We've seen oh, this before, Yes, fans. here he goes, Bruce. Here he goes, and he rolls oh. in. This might be it. He's rocking and reeling at this point in that corner. Just pull him Chupac out. Pull him to the center of the ring. Go for the pinfall. One, two. Not enough I'm to not, put the hard oh, one away. I don't know about that. that was a very, very light kick out right there. He, he's Corday almost to the end of his energy it's here. It's got to be over here, fans. Oh, oh nice spinning heel kick there from Chupacabra going it, for the fans? slice bread. Watch out. Yes, oh, he nails it. He nailed it. He's just got to cover hard Corey Dayton right now. This could be the three. Like Arn Anderson said, you're always three seconds One, away from losing two. a match. Two and... Oh, oh the damn rope. That's that's ring presence right there. Absolutely. That is ring that presence. There by Corey Dayton. He always knows where he is at all times. That is very true. All right now, Mexican Werewolf looks like he's setting up maybe for an Adios power bomb. Let's find out where this goes here. The fans are ready for it. Corey's got to do something. And he is. Here. He's up top. Oh, he pushes him off. Nice counter. Oh, oh yeah. low, right, blow. low blow. Right Come on, the referee. referee and he calls it. There we go, ref. He calls it. Damn it. You know, what a great contest. I got to tell you, there was no cheating, per se, from Hard Corey Dayton in Except this match. Right there, until man. then, exactly. And this I'd is like a great to contest. I'd like the referee for enforcing the rules here in the RWF. That's right. That's right. That's old school wrestling. True old school wrestling right here, taking it back to real tradition here in referee Reno, Nevada. Referee following the rules. We definitely enforce the rules here in the RWF, fans. I think Corey showed uh, that he can hang. I think that he's ready. I, I think this might have been uh, uh, definitely a wake-up call, perhaps, for other wrestlers. You know, we've yeah. seen his former tag team partner, Malachi, have great success since, since leaving Big and Wait Tasty. This is his chance to he's shine now. Done. He's not no. done. Oh, no. Things. Oh, no. He's Come on now. Up, Ring the bell. Oh, a power bomb. Look at this. Holding on. Right Another one. Oh. The Mexican werewolf fell Chupacabra. I mean, just being decimated right here in front of his fans. I mean, 
There's not much we could say about that other than the hard Corey Dayton is just disgusting. His actions are, anyways. Chupacabra is definitely your winner, but Doesn't Corey look Dayton looks like the winner, Brian. Absolutely. Well, what's he going to say here? Looks like he's got the mic. Let's go ahead and let him talk. That guy is annoying. Well, he paid for his ticket. He can say whatever he wants. That's the beauty of pro wrestling. That's for sure. Of course, we always encourage fans to show their support and rally behind their favorite wrestlers and the ones they don't like. Yeah, I guess it'd be pretty petty if you just threw people out of the show. Yeah, that's true. Look at that guy. One year ago, Here we go. I was seriously injured. Doctors told me that I would never wrestle again or have use of my arm again. But I don't put my faith in doctors. I put my faith in Jesus Christ. So I rehab my shoulder two to three times a day. And while you people were at home sitting on your asses wishing for a miracle, I didn't want to do it tonight because you guys don't deserve it. You're not showing me any respect. So until that day comes, Chupacabra, I will beat you, and that will be another thing that Corey did first. Well, that's his new saying, Corey did first, and I'll tell you right now. First in the wrestling business. Maybe so, but he was the first, uh, the first thing he did when he came back was put a beating on El Chupacabra, and I got to admit to you, he looks good. wrestling you've always wanted to be a part of it but you just don't know where to start it doesn't just have to be a dream anymore you can do more than just watch wrestling you can be wrestling there's only one reputable wrestling school in northern nevada and that school is the reno wrestle factory so get off your couch and give reno wrestle factory a call and start living your dream today hi Welcome to Stingray Tattoo, Reno's oldest tattoo studio. We also do body piercing. We are currently having a sale on t-shirts and tent tops for 50% off. Please check us out on StingrayTattoo.net or Facebook. At Stingray Tattoo, all we do is custom tattoos. Zodiac Sign Company for all your signage needs, including vehicle wraps, banners, ADA signage, digital printing, cut vinyl, three-dimensional letters, hand painting, and custom design. The Zodiac Sign Company, serving the Reno Sparks area since 1999. For more information, call 775-324-0799. What's Beach Hut Deli? It's the freshest ingredients. The most unique sandwiches. It's eight micro brews on tap. It's friends and family! Beach Hut Deli, the best sandwiches on earth. Hello, wrestling fans. I'm Bruce Fisher, alongside Bri Brian Miller from The Brian Miller Show. Get it right. I'll try. Sorry, it's my first time commentating with you. Fans, I'd like to thank you wherever you are watching this program or however you're watching this program. We'd like to thank you for making the RWF part of your day. Brian, have you ever seen the Reno Scum in action? I have, and uh, I would almost categorize my fan as a, re as a fan of the scum. If it weren't for one thing, it's their attitude. They're worried too much about what the fans think. They need to forget that. They need to just go out there and be vicious and be mean. Like a team right here that we're seeing right here. Pink Mink Inc. Wrestling personified Rick Luxury and Matt Carlos. Rick Luxury, magnificent Matt Carlos. Accompanied in the ring by Marcus Mack. 
I can't say enough thing, good things about Marcus Mack. He's just a, a manager's manager, and he's out there for a reason. He knows why he's there. Well, I don't know if I agree with you. I guess as far as managers go, I don't really like managers, first of all. I, I don't see the point in them. They're always out there trying to get the upper hand. That's kind of the point. That's why they're out there, to help their team. All right, well, Pink Me Geek here. The challengers for the SPW Heavyweight Tag Team Championships. The Scum are your champions. Like I said earlier, the, the Scum have all the right have the tools. The, the, everything that you would need to make a perfect tag team. They're just worried too much about what the fans think. They, they play to the fans too much. And uh, that might be uh, their downfall tonight. Because Pink Me Geek is ready to play. They're here. To, they're here for those titles. Well, well, their motto is united we survive, divided we die, and they consider their fans just as much scum as they are scum. Well, the fans are going to help them out when they're in trouble. Well, I don't know about that, and wait to hear the reaction for the Reno scum coming up here, fans. Uh, they're uh, the challengers next here. Uh, okay, I'm ready for this match, and uh, you know what? I'm ready for new champions. I'm ready for Pink Minky to take over the SW Tag Team Championships. I think well, it's... The, the Scum have the home field advantage here. That would definitely be an upset if they uh, won the titles here tonight. Well, I guess I won an upset then. Well, you root for that upset. I'll, I'm, I'll try to keep it even, fans, but I got to admit I like the Scum. Well, at least you're honest. That's my pick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Jay Biggs finally back here at ringside with Bruce Fisher and Brian Miller. And Biggs, we've got... Biggs, Biggs, first off, yes. sorry to cut you off, but Brian's picking Pink Mink. I'm picking Reno Scum. What's your pick here? You know what? I have to stay neutral. That's part of my job because I'm a ring announcer. But I can tell you this much. Both teams have major accolades and have the, uh, you know, they have it. And this could be an awesome, awesome contest. Or it could be a... a, a you know, a major fall for Pink Mink Inc. Considering the way the Reno Scum has controlled this feud as of late in the last few months, they have really demolished Pink Mink Inc. I mean, you got to admit that. You know what? History is history, but this is a new day, and Pink Mink Inc. are uh, they're ready. I think they're ready for this. It's, I think it's going to happen. Well, we're going to have to find out. Listen to those fans, though, behind Luster the Legend, the Salt and the Scum, and, of course, the Rock Legend Scum, Adam Thornstone, collectively known as the Reno Scum. And they have been on quite the roll, and of course, over in the Northern California scene, winning those SPW uh, Heavyweight Tag Team Championships down in Las Vegas for FSW. They uh, won the Tag Team Championships down there. So they just got, you know, titles everywhere. Plus, they are undefeated in the Territory League. That is right, folks. Knox Pro Territory League. You can check that out at TerritoryLeague.com as well and see the undefeated Rio Scum. They're impressive. They have titles. They've won matches. There's a reason for this, Brian. Absolutely, but it doesn't matter right now. Every match is different. Every match is separate. Well, you have a point there. I agree with you. We'll have to see who walks away with the titles. Looks right now like Pink Bing Geek's got the titles, although, of course, this is... Well, come on. But you know oh, they're not the champs yet. they got to win the match. Referee, the referee Dale Clifford stole those belts back for him, though. And there we go. Listen to that. Fans know who the hometown guys are here, and that's for sure. They know who the champions are, Biggs. That's right. All right. A Reno scum wrestle everywhere. And there's a guy who I don't care much for, uh, Marcus Mack. As you know, he's uh, assaulted me in the past. And, of course, uh, every every darn event I'm in there in the ring trying to announce for him and Rick. Of course, they got to come over and put those disgusting boas on me that are so sweaty. They feel like wet snakes drooped around my neck. And, of course, those disgusting Kanye West glasses that Rick, uh, that Rick wears. Sounds like you've got some issues to work out with your therapist, but let's watch this match. Okay, I'm a little more collected now. Let's do it here. Call the action. Reno Scum getting the fans to rally behind them. I can't imagine what it's like to be Pink Mink Santa Ring, and you just got the crowd. The whole crowd's against you. They're all rooting for the Reno Scum right now. Listen to Magnificent Matt not getting a so magnificent... Uh, Reaction from yeah, the fans. Yeah, reaction if you from will. the fans. Yes, they, they, I exactly. don't even know why they're trying to they're trying to compete with Reno Scum here in Reno. Uh, they're not going to win that battle, but they might cover his ears, there. Rick. Yeah, well, and the fans try to hide yourself from the truth. Sucks. Can't let the scum get in your head this early in the match. Now, don't take nothing away though from Pinkman King. Look, and especially their 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 head wrestler <laughs> oh, look here. Look at this. They got the fans to say Rick sucks more. Yeah, this is, is this what a champion oh. does? Are these what champions do? Is this what champions do? 
Well, they are the Reno scum. They never said they were very nice. All right. Wrestling personified, as I tried to mention earlier, take nothing away from this guy. If there's anyone with accolades in the Northern Nevada, Northern California wrestling scene, it's this man. He's been all over, wrestled in absolutely every town, every town from multiple federations. I can't think of any wrestler with more accolades than Rick Luxury. That's very true, uh, Bruce. Very true. And uh, right now, it looks like Adam Thornstow taking uh, nice control of the match. Up, yes. Matt sends him off the rope. Oh, big shoulder take. And a back oh, standing backflip. Back wow. Beautiful One, work from Thornstow. Oh, 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 look at nice that bridge. Nice counter by Matt Carlos. One, two. Rolls it out. Oh, look at this. Little bell lock. It could be over right now. Rolls it nice out. Nice counter by Matt Carlos. Wow, look at this wrestling action here from these nice two superstars. Taking it to the champs. It's almost too crazy to call. Trying to keep up, buddy. Oh, beautifully done. The execution of Adam nice Thornstow. Nice by Adam Thornstow. Got it locked in. Always right on point from this guy. If you've seen many Reno Scum matches, one of their favorite limbs to work is the arm. They like to destroy that arm. And right here, I think they're about to show why. Classic Reno Scum here in fans. Oh, team. big kick to the arm. That's got to hurt. Now, if I'm... Oh, oh look at oh. that. I could rip the arm right out of his socket. Could have been right out of his socket right there. Oh. And listen to this. Oh, wow. brutal shot. Magnificent Matt not feeling so magnificent at this point. Now, if I'm correct, Last I think, I think Bruce, we're seeing, here we go. Oh, oh, that stomp right to the arm. I can't imagine what that feels like, fans. And the boom in the corner from Adam Thornstow to Rick Luxury. Listen to this. Oh. They're just taking it. I mean, is that brutal enough for you, Brian? Absolutely. Uh, oh, it's about to get a whole lot worse, though. Oh, look at that. It's oh, a little oh, pit to the nasty That's, boys. That's disgusting. He's magnificent, right? Not feeling so magnificent as I mentioned before, and now his face doesn't smell uh, smell so magnificent. I can tell you that much. Plus, to the legend, work him over in the corner Works right now. Here. Comes charging in. Big oh, big clothesline and a bulldog. No, not that kind. All right, one, two. Oh, didn't even get a one there. Rick Lester comes and breaks oh. it off. Lester takes him off the apron. For your troubles, sir. Pikmin King's uh, head man there, Marcus Mack, doing his best to console his wrestlers. Nice in and out tags by the Reno Scum, a good sign of a veteran tag team. With the double team in. here. Oh, oh big knee, knee. Sends him in. Discus. Oh. oh. Jeez. Took his head off. One, one two, two, and oh, almost a three there. Kind of wondering what Pinkman Geek's game plan was here because right now uh, it's not, they're not going according to plan. No, that, things are very sketchy for I'm them sure. at this moment. Yeah, I'm sure it's not their game oh, plan. Oh, see? So losing at this point. Well, watch out. Oh, see, Rick oh. Luxury, just enough. Gave him just enough time to take that advantage, get the inseguri on Adam Thornstow, and now Thornstow's down, and in comes wrestling personified. And that's what a manager's there to do. You know, you, you make a point, Brian, uh, uh, or what Bruce was saying earlier with that. But look at him now, trying to take care of that, that chopped liver, I guess you could call it, the chest of Matt Carlos. And now Adam Thornstow getting blatantly just, choked. Yeah, blatantly right choked. The referee. Maybe a little bit of their own medicine. Ref makes the call, but look, look at that. Magnificent ref, come Matt. on, ref, turn around. Come on, Dale. Well, if Luster would just well, stay out of the ring, maybe uh, the referee could break, break the choke. That's referee Toby there. Oh, base. is that? That is Toby. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, we'll get that. Sorry to yeah, call hit. you out on that, but I just want the fans to know. Your name is Referee Toby. All right. The big, nice uh, kicks there to the chest of Adam Thornstow. And now Rick Luxury in there, choking him once again. Four or the five counts being issued now. Breaks it by four. And look at Matt this Carlos. Look at Luster Legend coming around this now. This is probably their game plan you were speaking of earlier, Brian. Referee cuts him off, says, you're not coming in. Luster Legend. Forearms now. Fire, oh, cheap Look shot. at that jab, right to the eye. And oh, a neck breaker from Rick Luxury, one of the most decorated wrestlers in oh, all of independent professional there. wrestling. Luster Legend trying to get the fans riled up here, trying to get Adam Thornstow back in this one. Oh, oh nice. watch out, that could have got a couple teeth out of Rick Luxury's mouth. Oh, he's missing any to begin right with. Right over the top, the tag to Luster the Legend, here he comes, big clothesline. Oh, watch out, Rick Another Luxury one. down. Taking the head off of Rick Luxury. Now whip into the ropes, let's find out what happens. And, oh, oh another the knee. knee. That's one, gotta hurt. Two. Oh, oh, Matt Carlos almost hit his own guy there. Watch out, Luster the Legend's above him. Oh no, what's gonna happen here? Oh, double knock and knock out. Oh. Rick Luxury up, scoop slam. 
plants him in the middle of the ring. Lost to the legend off the run. Big oh, headbutt. headbutt. That might be One, it. One, two, a kick out by Rick Luxury. Headbutt reminds me a lot of Bam Bam Bigelow. Somewhat of a tribute maybe to him there, but I'll tell you right now, well, these I guys... I've seen the size of Luster's head. He's got a big noggin up there. And it's tattooed. Oh, watch out. Adam Thorne's Both still in there. in tattoos here. Dang right. Rick Luxury. Oh, he's he's hating life at this moment right now. Oh, a big knife edge chop by Adam Thornstone. Probably feels like someone lit a fire on his chest. Yeah. Oh, he's asking Luster if this is going to be it, and it looks like he's going into the ropes. Tags in Luster. I Luster won it in. Here it is, the Montana Spike fans. Oh, oh, right there at the corner of Montello and Adi. And there you a go. By Matt Break Oh, watch out here. Magnificent Matt becoming a nuisance to the Reno scum at this point. Watch out. Rick Luxury getting up again. And, oh, oh, another guy to the eye. That's the second one tonight. Oh, I don't think the referee saw it, so I, I don't think it happened. Oh, come on, Brian. Uh, they do say that's an unwritten rule in wrestling. The ref doesn't see it. All is good. Watch out. Coming out with another bulldog. But, what? oh, no, the salt and the scum's got him he in there. Him up for the legend, legend shifter. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, ref. And oh, just impales him right there. Can't believe he was nice. able to hit that, but Adam Thornstone takes him off his feet. This match is not over, fam. Power bomb. Big sit out Liger bomb. The ref's kind of a little slow here. This match is kind of getting out of control. Referee doesn't can't take control of it. Whips around Adam Thornstone into the corner. He hops That's over on top, but oh, he's got him as his Death Valley driver. What's this? Oh, oh, the double knees to the gut. Rick Luxury. Oh, Legend's got it. There it is. He set him up for the Legend Shifter again. Countered by Rick Luxury. Comes out. Big spine buster by Luster the Legend. Oh, man. The big man's got him down now. This is it. Oh, oh did can you believe that? that I didn't even see the magnificent one coming out of the there. For that. I mean, oh, man. Wow, now this could be anybody's match at this point. Things have definitely shifted. Not necessarily in the favor of any team at this point, where it was as the uh, Reno Scum earlier. It just completely dominated this match. Fans, this is the action you always expect from the RWF. Another thing I'm noticing, uh, Bruce, as well, looks like the, the uh, Reno Scum's got some new ring gear. How about that? Yeah, I did notice that, actually. Pretty Very cool. Nice. Watch out now. Uh-oh, there goes Matt Carlos over the top. But the, oh. I don't think I'd ever purchase anyone's ring gear. Probably not, but watch out. Oh, a double suicide dive! Wow. Both teams right now just in a... in a, You said it wow, Brian. In a bad spot, but Adam Thornstow seems to definitely have the upper hand on his side, and Rick Luxury has the hand on his side near the entrance. I don't think Lester Legends, uh, his head's probably still ringing from that DDT that Matt Carlos Probably gave him so. Off the top. That was directly off the top rope there in the corner. Really Adam about, trying to get those fans to rally behind Luster. What do you have to say, Brian? It's really about who gets the tag here. You're dang Man. right. I believe so. Quick in and out tags. Oh, trade and blows here. Right hands. Oh, I wouldn't want to trade blows with Luster the legend. Yeah, Matt's great, but he's... Oh, oh to the kidneys. Come nice on, Rick Luxury. Rick and, oh. and that's why Matt right Carlos across is so the dangerous throat. right there. And, oh, oh, wow. Rick Luxury it's just comes back Luster's in. Luster's ribs there, I think. Little corkscrew into the into the ring, very nicely done One, there. Two. Oh, not enough to pin Luster the Legend here. Oh, you're gonna need a lot more than that, Bruce, to pin oh. Luster the Legend. All right. Luster's definitely got to make that tag though, because he's not Superman. And if he keeps getting, I mean, taking the if they take Tim down here, it could be over. That's that's very possible. It could be over. At this point, though, it looks like the Reno scum. Still a lot of fight left in Lester, though. Yeah, exactly. They have a lot of fight left in them, so I wouldn't quite give it up for them yet. Luxury sends Lester to the outside. This is where things become dangerous oh, because it becomes hit. a three-on-two handicap there match. And look at that. That Where's disgusting Marcus Mack. Come on, Come on Ref. He's got to keep us cool and just stay in the corner here. And he's hurting his partner even though he doesn't really know it necessarily at this point. All right, Rick Luxury out there. He's got. There we go. Getting the action back in the ring here. This is where you get the win. As it's meant to be. Mickey's got the upper hand now. They do. Luster's in a tight spot here. He's got to make something happen here. 
If he doesn't, it could be over. Oh, oh. a big double clothesline taking both men off his feet. Yeah, but he can't capitalize on it. He's gonna make. He's got to make that tag here. Look at that. There's that Marcus Mack. Watch What's out for him. What's Not Marcus only no, oh, he's got Adam's leg. Come on know. now. I don't know what he was trying there, but I don't think it worked. Yeah, it's not going to work about as good as Brian Zane's uh, earlier against Mike Rain. But look at this. Well, he actually got farther ahead. Luxury. This might be it. Come this on, could Buster, be. Get up. Fans doing get their up, best to support the Reno scum, but right now it's not looking very what good. Setting up for here. Oh, yeah. absolutely academic right here. Not sure what we're about to oh, see, but oh, watch nice. it. Oh, Rick Buster Luxury. Makes the tag. Adam Thornstone. The Rock Legend oh, scums in. Drop kick to the corner. Rick Luxury. Oh. Oh, oh watch my. out. I've never seen that. Northern fast. Light suplex into Rick Luxury. Watch out. Oh, Here oh. comes off the ropes. The big foot from Adam Thornstone. Oh, and that's standing. Standing. One, two. Can you believe they hit that? Standing shooting star press. There we go. I forgot impressive. the name. I was so excited for a minute. Thornstow. Can't believe that wasn't it. Thornstow whips magnificent Matt Carlos to the corner. Comes running in here. Oh, oh, oh come on. Watch out, ref. Matt Carlos just pulled him in front. Hard What's angle to see that happen, here? but if the, if Toby got pulled in front, that's a blatant DQ there for Pink Mink Kink. Oh, the scum's setting him up here. And look, oh, watch out. A big club by Lester Le He set all oh, fans. Oh, here we go. I've never seen this move. Here it comes. It's the mo one of the most devastating maneuvers. Oh, Matt Carlos move. He got I've out of the way. Can you believe that? Move like that out of it. I Very haven't either. Maneuver. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, sliced bread. Right there, getting him. Lester Legend is down. This could be it. This is a possible three count. He's just got to roll him over. Where's the ref? One, two. Oh, Lester actually kicked out of that one. Even though instinct. there's no ref, yeah, it was, was just instinct. instinct at this point. You're right, Brian. Pure instinct and adrenaline from Lester Legend. Oh, oh, look at this. Adam, Adam Thornstow. Oh, oh, nice hit by Adam Thornstow. A little taste of the... Oh, no. Come on. Oh, the ref it's saw not that. Gonna end this way, is it? Come on. Is that how a champion... Is that how a champion acts? Well, at some point, they got to, you know, they brought the weapon into the ring. Yeah, because you got to do what you got to do to win that belt. But if you got that belt, if you're the champion, is that how a champion acts? Well, in that same, I got to say, you, at all times, you have to defend yourself. If someone brings a weapon in the ring, you have to defend yourself. And if taking it away and using it is that defense, then so be it. All right, folks, I just did the official word there. Let's hear what Rick Luxury has to say. Well, as I mentioned before, Adam Thorso is going to reply here, but those belts stay on the Reno scum because the belts don't change on a DQ. You two want to get your ass kicked again? That's fine. 